Let's talk now about the compliance of the switch configurations. Who has never wanted in the past to be sure that the configurations in the switches have not been modified by someone else? And what is more, to be informed in real time of the slightest modification made by a direct access to the switch. For any intent that is defined in NDFC, a process called configuration compliance or CC regularly monitors the fabric, ensuring that the expected policies are correctly deployed on the corresponding switches. If one single word differs from the initial intent on the switch, the config compliance reports an out of sync status. Additionally, there will be a pending config generated to push the intent to the switch to bring the status back to in sync. If the current configurations running on the network devices are similar with the configurations pushed by NDFC, all devices are represented in green in the topology configuration view, regardless uh, uh, the fabric model, VXLAN, EPN, or classic LAN, or external fabric, or multi-site domain. Now, assuming someone changes the configuration on a switch using its uh, console port, for example, and you are not aware, the configuration of the concern switch will be shown immediately in an out of compliance conditions in red, meaning that its configuration is not in sync anymore with the NDFC database. This change could impact the stability or efficiency of the fabric. Consequently, if an out of compliance condition is detected in the underlay network or in the overlay networks or the access layer, etc., the system alerts and builds the diff set to restore the compliancy with the current policy settings when you want. And you, you can see immediately the alarms of the concern node in red. You can review the differences and deploy the remediations when you want to. There is no auto-remediate process since uh, this might be a concern for some customers who are troubleshooting, for example. It is uh, the role of the network team to uh, review and press the knob to remediate when they believe uh, this is the best time. Remediation does not require a write erase or any kind of disruptions uh, in the configurations. It uses uh, the Cisco distributed control plane along with uh, the commands that bring the device back to compliant that triggers the color to become green again. Let's see now a demo with uh, the config compliance to better capture step-by-step -step the impact and how NDFC helps to detect and remediate uh, against uh, any change configuration that becomes directly from the device management. In this demo, an application ABC is hosted by a server connected to Leaf 129 interface Ethernet 1 slash 3. All is good. The end user can access the applications. A change configuration occurs suddenly in the interface E1 slash 3 of Leaf 129. As a result, the application stops working. The config compliant process detects uh, the change among uh, all Leaf nodes and highlights the out of sync device concerned by the change in the fabric view. The end user can immediately preview the differences and accept to deploy the initial configuration to resolve the issue. Consequently, after deploying the initial configuration, the application is back available. So this is your VXLAN VPN fabric with uh, three leaf nodes. We have the leaf node 129, on which we have an application ABC connected to the interface E1 slash 3. The goal is to simulate an end user that removes by mistake the configuration of the interface E1 slash 3 and to see how NDFC will inform you about the change configurations. NDFC runs a process in the background called Config Compliance or CC. As you can see from the server settings, by default the CC process runs periodically every 24 hours. Typically you can reduce this interval timing down to 30 minutes but the recommendation is to leave this timer by default to 1440 minutes. And the reason is the high CPU resources required to monitor all the configurations of all the devices from all the fabrics. So 
it depends uh, on the number of leaf nodes you deploy so be careful when you change this value now let's have a secure connection to leaf node 129 via its uh, console interface the interface e1 slash 3 is configured with a uh, switch port access for vlan 2100 now let's check the connectivity between the application abc and the target point 115 located on a different leaf node now let's return to the leaf node 129 and clear the interface e1 slash 3 configurations using the default command and double check that the application abc stopped pinging the endpoint 115. In the meantime, an end user called you about the application ABC not responding anymore. So either you know where the application is connected to, so you can go directly to the concern switch, or maybe you don't know on top of mind and you want instead to check if something has changed somewhere inside the fabric. Open the detailed view from the action drop down menu and go to the switch tab. Select all the switches of the fabric and run a preview. You can now resync all the switches with the config compliant process to fetch for any differences that exist between the running configuration and the expected configurations. As a result, CC found that leaf node 129 is now out of sync. You can preview the pending configuration used to bring back the expected intent. Before we deploy the pending configuration, Let's have a look at the configuration view of the topology. Leaf node 129 is highlighted in red, meaning that it is out of sync. So you can either push the configuration from here, or you can recalculate all the configuration of the fabric from the action menu if you want. But let's make it simple and deploy the configuration directly from leaf node 129. So the eight lines of CLI are still pending. We can now deploy. You can see we have now the pop-up success notifications. Consequently, the topology view should show all leaf nodes green. You can return to the application ABC and as you can see, the ping to the endpoint 115 is back. So to summarize, NDFC runs a process called config compliance, which compares the running configurations on all the switches with the intent from its database and notifies you if something differs. That way, you can be confident that all switches run the expected configuration inside your fabric.